It was in the halls behind these doors at Toronto General Hospital six and a half months ago, where an altercation took place between security and a patient that ultimately led to the loss of one woman's life. It's an incident made even more shocking with details from a recent coroner's report looking into what happens. One of the security guards um, aggressively and violently grabs my sister and crushes her face first into a concrete wall. The glaring video of Stephanie Warner being taken down by security at Toronto General Hospital isn't public, but her sister Denise has watched and is horrified. How did that feel? I don't know if I've ever experienced gut-wrenching horror in my life. Um, I didn't understand what those words meant until I saw that video. Stephanie was in the hospital lobby after arriving in the emergency department with shortness of breath last May. When she was approached by the security team, a verbal exchange was followed by a physical altercation. Then, while it was happening, the video camera had been purposely turned away, according to the coroner's report released earlier this month. Two and a half minutes pass before the camera turns back. The next vision is her being dragged, handcuffed, limp, unconscious, more than likely dying at that point. The report also says that Stephanie is dead weight when put on a wheelchair. She's taken to another spot, given CPR, and resuscitated after 10 minutes. She was then intubated, sent to ICU, and died as a result of a brain injury due to a lack of oxygen, less than three weeks later. This is my sister, and it was, catas it was catastrophic. According to the coroner's report, the case fits death due to restraint asphyxia, leaving her family to demand greater accountability from all involved. We have some really big systemic uh, issues happening. There's some serious prejudice happening here. Coming up in the program, we tell you more about Stephanie and her pre-existing health condition. We'll hear from the University Health Network about the actions that have been taken and more questions that still need to be answered. Earlier in the program, we introduced you to Stephanie Warner. She died in May after an altercation with security guards here at Toronto General Hospital, leaving many questions. Since then, her family has been looking for answers and greater accountability from those involved in the incident. She was um, someone who didn't follow, a, I guess we'll call it a typical path. She marched to the beat of her own drum. Stephanie Warner had already been to Toronto General twice before in the weeks leading up to the violent altercation with security in May. The 43-year-old had mental health and substance abuse issues and a pre-existing respiratory problem. You can clearly see she was in a struggle for her air and very quickly she is approached by uh, a security person um, who immediately is very obviously angry with her, um, is demonstrative, uh, is within her personal space. She's taken down under the guise of a security camera that had been purposely turned away for more than two minutes before collapsing. Stephanie would die from a brain injury because of a lack of oxygen. So I'm not sure what they were doing. I can only surmise that this was an effort to um, be somehow, somehow covert about the attack. While the coroner's report is complete, a police investigation continues. In a statement sent to UHN employees last week, President and CEO Kevin Smith called the incident disturbing and distressing. He continued, we will offer to meet with the family to go over what we have learned, the recommendations from the investigations, and the actions we must take in response when it's concluded. And what are you looking for? It would be an understatement if I said that I'm anxious to see serious criminal charges. City News has learned two staff members involved with the case are no longer working with UHN. Two others have faced disciplinary action, but no specifics. There's no closure, there's no peace. You know, and there's parts of me that worry, is there peace for my beautiful sister? You know, is there, but I won't give up. I will continue to fight for her and for the rest of us. You know, there needs to be accountability and change. Despite multiple attempts by City News to get an update from Toronto Police on the investigation and answers to questions about why the security camera may have been moved 
and whether any charges are being considered remain unanswered at this point.